Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a really wonderful Sunday and start to your week. I wanted to do this reading because I keep picking up on this very pure and by pure I mean there is a very high vibrational energy here that really transcends anything physical or superficial between the two souls that I am picking up on. Every time I start reading or sensing into this connection, I find myself just getting like these waves of chills and this is physical representation of the spiritual energy that is just exuding off of this connection between the two of you. Now, of course, this reading may not be for everyone, although I do feel that if you connected with this reading today, there is most likely some kind of message here for you. I don't believe in coincidences or accidents. So if you have aligned with this video, I feel that it's for a reason. I am going to start by pulling an emotion card to start off the reading today just because I'm feeling a very strong emotional charge around this particular connection. So this is death in the reverse position, which is actually the opposite of a death. It is a birth a rebirth, a new beginning, but specifically that word rebirth is coming out the most strongly here. And the affirmation on this card says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I feel that when the two of you entered each other's lives, it created a massive ego death experience that was actually very mirrored. This wasn't happening on one side. You both underwent an intense, I'm hearing personality transplants or radical changes in your persona because your persona, all of our personas are constructed through a lot of artificial societal programming and even some of those programs are very very limiting to us and i feel that connecting with this person somehow caused this like instant it's like a detonation of energy that totally deconstructed whatever version of yourself or their self that had been projected as a personality or a persona. After the two of you connected consciously in the physical world in some way, neither of you were ever the same because you had a very strong soul contract that you would meet and you would connect and through this connection, you would shake each other awake spiritually. I'm hearing that one of you had an easier time adjusting to this awakening than the other. For one of you, this awakening tried to dredge up parts and aspects of yourself that were almost too painful to face. For some reason, I'm feeling that in most cases, you listening to this reading, connecting with this reading, will be someone who took more easily to the energy. Now, I'm careful in choosing those words because don't get me wrong, this energy was equally intense for the both of you, but I feel that you listening to this reading were more easily able to process this energy at a faster rate. So even though it was very intense for you, you didn't slow the process by avoiding what that energy was dredging up within you. You've been facing all of that. 
and facing all of those unconscious aspects or elements about yourself or your past as they've been surfacing has actually deeply aligned you, or I should say realigned you because really it's your natural state of being with that frequency of truth within yourself. And for some reason, the word truth teller is coming out here. Like now you are a truth teller and I'm not sure why I'm getting that term. I've never gotten that in a reading before. Someone manifested that out of me for sure. But I feel that what this means is that you are someone who is so powerfully and profoundly connected with the energy of your own truth through this very intense facing of all of these unconscious aspects of yourself that were dredged to the surface that you now brightly radiate and reflect that truth into every person, environment, and situation that you interact with. Another word for this is having the gift of illumination. I've actually done a recent podcast video on this, so you can search up five signs that you have the gift of illumination because I do feel that many of you listening here will resonate with having that spiritual gift as well. Now, I want to know more about this connection. What kind of soul connection are we dealing with here? Okay, the emperor reversed. So I'm picking up that for many of you listening, you tuned into this reading in most cases will be connecting more so as the divine feminine. If you are familiar with the divine feminine and divine masculine energies, these are essentially the building blocks of all creation, everything in nature has a balance of feminine and masculine energy, including human beings. And we all actually have a balance of both energies within us, but we tend to take to a stronger polarity of either the divine masculine or divine feminine. Now, I'm getting that the person you're connected to is coming up as someone who is more connected with their divine masculine aspect. Of course, you can look up YouTube videos to learn more about these aspects if you are new to the concept. I know that most of you listening to this reading are very familiar with those aspects and of course at the end of the day these are just labels they are just ways to help us better explain energy that really defies even being explained so only take the labels that connect with you and feel good for you but the fact that we're getting the emperor reversed here right as i asked what kind of soul connection we're dealing with tells me that this emperor reversed energy is blocking being able to fully tap into the true nature of this connection. Almost like the true connection is having trouble fully revealing itself in the physical world because of this emperor reversed energy, which I feel is the divine masculine here having a little bit of difficulty processing some of this energetic intensity that has exploded between the two of you. This feels like something that's been going on for a while and something that if you are connecting with this video, you've been very aware of. I'm hearing something about control, like this is someone who really fears losing control or being out of control. And something about having connected with you causes them this also could just be the effect of connecting with you, by the way. This could be the energy affecting them, but something has caused them to feel like they are out of control or like they can't control something. This might be not being able to control how they feel, some of the choices they feel like they're going to have to make to redirect their life in different directions. And another card came out here. Yeah, we have the star reversed. This masculine is in the depths of a spiritual awakening, but it's been really hard for them to find themselves kind of on the other side of this awakening. It's almost like they are stuck in the 4D 
We talk about the third dimension, the fourth dimension, and the fifth dimension. And we do tend to bounce between dimensions because our vibration varies throughout the day and of course throughout the course of our lives. But I'm getting that you listening to this reading have really committed to your spiritual practice, your inner work in your own unique way, however that looks for you. And although of course we all tend to bob up and down between different dimensions and levels and there's no reason to judge yourself or feel any kind of shame when you do find yourself dropping back down in frequency it's totally normal planet earth is super dense and so it's natural that we get pulled down from time to time but overall you've been on this growth trajectory spiritually and vibrationally so even though it's not a linear process you have been raising your vibration to consistently higher levels over time which has allowed you to connect with higher dimensions and is allowing you to embody more and more of that fifth dimensional aspect now for this masculine the process has felt very different because when they connected with you, it's almost like that pushed them out of 3D. So they could never quite fully fit themselves back into that box of fear, limitation. If this is a romantic connection, they could never force themselves to feel the same way about other past people or partners romantically in their life. And yet, because of the aspects of themselves that they've really struggled to face because of that fear of being out of control that may have actually caused them to to overreact by being even more controlling of themselves or their life or trying to kind of keep a strong grip on things is the best way I can describe it because of one or both of these different dynamics, they have remained in what I'm going to refer to as the 4D, which is like the bridge or the tunnel between 3D and 5D, where we can no longer fully go back into that third dimensional space of lack, of fear, of limitation. And yet when we're in that 4D space, we aren't yet fully embodying those fifth dimensional aspects of freedom, abundance, happiness, peace, and it can cause us to feel very lost because we can sense the existence of those higher states of being, but we don't always have steady access to them, which can kind of drive us crazy. It can feel like this constant dissonance between what we can sense exists for us in 5D and what we're going through in this kind of tunnel-like fourth dimensional space, this in-between space. And that is dominantly what this particular divine masculine is going through at this time. I almost see that you divine feminine are like this light at the end of the tunnel for them in the sense that Again, although at times you might drop back down vibrationally, overall, you have ascended much more into those higher planes of consciousness. And it's almost like this person's soul or their higher self is like reaching out for you, kind of trying to stretch themselves towards being more free, towards having more of a sense of alignment with who they really are as a soul because they have this really deep core desire to connect with you on those higher timelines, in those higher dimensions, so to speak. Whether they are fully consciously aware of these deeper soul intentions or not. And again, that level of awareness will really vary from person to person here. I do feel that at the time, this particular masculine is feeling as though their life is very monotonous. The word boring is coming out. Like they feel as though they live the same groundhog day every single day. They are really doing life on repeat over and over. And this is causing them to feel a bit hopeless and lost in a way that they never felt in this monotony in the past because it was before meeting you. Again, meeting you woke them up 
in a sense to what is really possible and available for them. And yet they're still in that in-between kind of place. So what else can I channel here? Yeah, the hermit reversed. This is someone, it's almost like they are so afraid of letting go of control that it's almost like paralyzing them. It's like someone whose fear is keeping them stuck or keeping them paralyzed here. Okay, a few cards came out here. Yeah, okay, so with the chariot reversed and the two of coins reversed, that two of coins card can be a twin flame card. So this isn't necessarily a twin flame connection. Only you will know for you personally, but this could be a twin flame for some of you. The fact this card is reversed tells me there is some kind of disconnect, but the disconnect in this specific scenario is this masculine's disconnect between what they are sensing at a deeper soul level is available for them in this 5D space and what their life is looking like at this time. And some of these obstacles that they're experiencing, it's almost like the connection itself feels like it's been blocked by a lot of these obstacles, but it's almost like all of the physical obstacles have just been manifestations recently of the divine masculine's obstacles to his own self reconnection. I'm hearing that because of these aspects of himself, he hasn't wanted to face fully or head on. He has been preventing fully self-reconnecting at a deeper level. And this has actually been then reflecting in the physical world by manifesting these physical, seemingly literal obstacles between the two of you, whether that's third party situations, other forms of karmic energies. Karmic doesn't even need to be a person. This could be an addiction, a behavior pattern, etc. This could be distance physically, communication barriers, but it does feel again that so many of these obstacles recently have actually just been physical blockages or manifestations to reflect the energetic blockages within this masculine that need to be resolved in order for this to move forward. You, Divine Feminine, have had some level of awareness of this because you've really set up a lot of protection around yourself or even if you haven't done that consciously, know that you are divinely, naturally protected, meaning your guides might actually be allowing these obstacles physically between you and this person because they know that these obstacles are a manifestation of what the masculine needs to heal and face within themselves. I just keep getting once this masculine connects with the totality of his inner self, there will naturally be a bridge reconnecting the two of you, but that's a necessary prerequisite here, so to speak. It's almost like in order for the two of you to connect with each other, you have to be fully self-reconnected, fully connecting with yourselves here. I'm getting that this has put you, Divine Feminine, in a very strange space because a lot of time may have passed here for some of you physically speaking, although of course time doesn't exist at the level of energy. And you might be feeling in a bit of a stuck place yourself because you can sense that there is a very intense bond here. Again, this could be a twin flame. You are aware that the two of you have not only spiritually awakened each other, but I keep getting you really inspire each other in this kind of endless way. Like there is endless potential to continuously inspire one another. And that is such a beautiful aspect of your connection. And yet, simultaneously, you are aware that there have been these obstacles. And at some level, you realize they are obstacles that are in place because of what the masculine needs to fully face and work through within himself. 
So I'm going to be pulling a few more cards here, but I also do want to say if this reading is resonating with you, I would really recommend my subliminal called the Twin Flame Seven Chakra Clearing, regardless of whether or not this is a Twin Flame situation for you. This subliminal is meant to connect you with the energy of unconditional love. It works by using subliminal affirmations targeted to the subconscious mind that bypass the conscious mind and are then able to more deeply reprogram the subconscious, which actually controls over 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. And this subliminal specifically is created to assist you in releasing love blockages and essentially the limiting belief systems you hold subconsciously that create these blockages. And the result of this, the goal of this subliminal is to magnetize your energetic field with the energy of unconditional love, which is the most powerful frequency on the planet. This subliminal comes from my subliminals app, Sound and Soulful. As you can see on the screen, on this app, I have over 130 subliminals for all areas of life. They're all available in eight different background sound options, and you can even create your own custom private playlists. So the link to download the app is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Okay, so what else can I channel for the beautiful Divine Feminines listening here? Hostilities. So what I'm getting here is as long as this masculine is in conflict with his inner self, there is most likely going to be some degree of external disconnect or external conflict between the two of you, which is why the creation of boundaries and really preserving and protecting your energy here is so essential. What else can I channel for the person listening to this reading? This masculine is really desiring a reunion, a reconnection, at least at the soul level. But I feel for many of them that's starting to break through consciously as well. I'm seeing the number 444 and hearing the message, the unconscious is becoming more conscious within this person. They've been receiving some form of spiritual download, even if it's been a while since the two of you have been physically together or consistently connected. I'm getting that they're seeing a lot of spiritual signs about you that are instantaneously making them think of you. What else can I channel here? The King of Cups. So this is what the masculine here is in the process of transforming into this King of Cups energy, someone who is healed and therefore capable of being a healer themselves. I feel like the masculine here and you divine feminine as well, you are actually both natural born healers. In fact, both of you most likely have mirrored experiences about attracting people into your life who need advice or wisdom or healing. This is because you both are meant to be healers to some degree. Now, of course, that healing capacity can take many different physical forms, occupations, situations, etc. This doesn't have to be going into the traditional field of medicine. This could be being someone who spiritually helps people to shift their energy, helping others to emotionally heal from the past, etc. And I feel that you, Divine Feminine, are already really stepping into your true empowerment as a healer, whatever that means for you. Whereas the masculine here 
is still working on healing themselves. In fact, it's as though their guides are saying in order to fully step into your true healing abilities, divine masculine, you must first fully heal your own self and fully reconnect with your inner self. So I really hope this reading was beneficial for someone listening. If it did resonate, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what connected. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Of course, I am also on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. And the link to my Sound and Soulful Subliminals app is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Thank you so much for tuning in today for this reading. I am sending you all so much love. Take care and I will connect with you here again in the next video.